Joining me in the studio tonight is our, WS, or our WSNC track correspondent, Ryan Danzinger, also a member of the St. Albert College track team. Welcome, Ryan. Thanks a lot, Vince. Well, looking in the year on the St. Albert College men's and women's track team, there have been a lot of debates about the quality of the team and also the depth of the team. Uh, throughout the season, there have been a lot of improvements that the team has seen, not only in the sprints and long distance, but also in the quality of performance that we've been able to accomplish both in field events, long distance, and also in the sprints. I think over the uh, last four meets that we've had, we've had indoors, I think the uh, biggest improvement has been in our, our middle distance or our sprints and middle distance people. Uh, I think some of, the, some of the things that we're doing right now as far as resistance training and things are paying off for these kids. I think every, every sprinter we have, their, their times are coming down. Um, is it good enough to place a conference? I don't know at this point in time, but uh, I think uh, we are seeing improvement in all of our athletes and um, especially up, up through the uh, middle distance and uh, I think I expect it to continue through the season as long as we keep everybody healthy. Well, we seem to shift our team around a little bit too. Um, last year, Tom Keller was primarily a 400 runner. Um, this year he switched and started doing 600 and he proved to be a um, good quality 600 runner. Um, and this week he's going to try another new event. He's trying the 800. I think he should do well. Um, as far as the overall sprinting team goes, uh, we lost a good sprinter last year, Pat Collins, um, but we picked up another good one for our relay, um, Chris Clark. Um, he's a good, solid runner. He's really good with the short distance. Um, we lose Pat from the 400, but picked up Steve, too. And Steve's a good 400 guy. So our sprinters, sprinting team stayed pretty much the same, except we shifted around a little bit, which improved our team. And as you can see, the coaching staff and also Mr. Nimmer state that the track team has taken great strides in improvement throughout the season for the conference championship. Not only have there been improvements, as they have stated in the records that have been accomplished at the St. Norbert track team, but there also have been some possibilities for national qualifiers, both with Todd Miller, Tom Keller, and also the 4x400 relay team. Uh, well, I think the team's been focusing uh, very well. Uh, we've been stepping up the practices a little bit, especially with the Green Knight, winning the Green Knight invite. We're really pumped off that. Um, we do look to have a lot of distance uh, depth this, this season. Um, compared to last season, it, it, it looks like uh, we're going to be finishing top four in conference, and it looks like uh, uh, we'll have some weight throwing with uh, Steve Nimmer, and uh, definitely sprints and relays will be a, a strong area for us. Our distance team hasn't really placed on a conference in the last uh, four to five years, a couple people here and there, but we're looking, especially uh, the three juniors, um, AJ Lumpke and Jeff Shear and myself, that will really make a make an accomplishment down there at the conference meet. Uh, the freshmen will help um, just to give us the, we'll get, be able to fill all the distance events up and hopefully, you know, place in a few of them down there also. And as Brian Blaha had suggested, the long distance team has shown great strength from their uh, state private school championship that they achieved in the cross country meets. The long distance team, which is anchored by the three juniors, AJ Lumpke, Jeff Shear and Brian Blaha, who are three-time letter winners in cross country and also in the SNC track team, have accomplished something that has not been done in the St. Norbert track team for 10 years, and that is to place in a conference meet. One of the problems, though, with the team has been depth, but the inclusion of freshmen such as Todd Miller, Chris Clark, and also Steve Pahowski, uh, the third leg of the 4x400 relay team, there have been great strides, not only in the improvement of the team's quality, but also in areas to be able to add certain field events and also the quality of the events that have been run. Um, well, at first I was kind of surprised of the uh, turnout. I thought there'd be a lot more people, but I think that with the small group that we have, we can work harder together. I think we have some good experience on this team, and I'm just glad I'm able to run it at this type of level. Well, it feels real great. Um, I made a lot of improvements since last year, and I'm really excited about it. Also on the women's side, not only have they been challenged with the area of depth, they've also been having problems with the area of injuries as well. Jennifer Lashinsky and Claire Baggett have been having leg problems throughout the season. Plus on the long distance side, Becky Murphy and Anna Rose Wallace have been having problems with their ankles and shins. Um, we have several very good athletes. Uh, I think what we do lack is depth. Um, we don't cover all the events, and we don't have multiple scores in every event. We know we have one per event. Um, I think when it comes to conference, we're going to place very well. Everyone individually is going to do best, you know, their best. A lot of personal records, I'm expecting. But in terms of scoring as a team, um, it'll be really tough because we don't have a lot of girls. I think we'll continue to hold our own. We might not place very well, but we continue to strive for our best.
outdoor season is going to be, I think, much better for us. Uh, we have a couple girls that are going to be coming out for the outdoor. That'll help us a little bit, and so we'll have alternates for relays, and we'll have a little more depth. I think, I think I'm outdoor is going to be a lot better. I'm looking forward to it. Great. In conclusion, you can see the SNC track team has a long distance to go. <laughs> no pun intended. Before yes. they have a shot at the conference championships. However, they are focusing on the outdoor season, and in the state private school championship rankings, St. Norbert is listed in the top three, and are heavy favorites to take the championship title, which, by the way, will be held in De Pere, Wisconsin this year, the first uh, state meet, or private school meet that will be held in Wisconsin. Also, for the upcoming conference meet that will be held in Knox, Galesburg, Illinois, the team looks not only to break the record in the 4x4 relay, but also to take some national qualifiers to the national championship meet, which will be held in Minnesota this year. All in all, I think it looks like a very good season. Exciting. You guys also hosted, at, uh, where we have that footage from, you hosted a meet out at the Shieldy Sports Center this year. Do you know when the last time that happened was? I believe 1983, Vince. Wow. So that, that was exciting to have yes. here at, at our school, certainly. Mm -hmm. And we were the Green Knight Invitational Champions as well. So. Congratulations, Brian. Thanks also, lot, you mentioned Patrick Collins, graduate of... Wauwatosa East, my alma mater. Well, I did not know that. Counts, Thank you. Certainly. Outstanding football player as well. Quite. Anyway, enough rapping about the alma mater. We're going to go out to commercial. When we come back, all kinds of more stuff going on here on WSNT TV's Sports Expo. You're watching it now, why not watch it again? SNC Sports Expo, Marcus Cable 5, 9 o'clock every weekday, and Cable Vision 4 on Fridays in between the hockey and basketball games. That's SNC Sports Expo. Take a look at Dino. He now sports the Fort Howard Shell colors.